Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla if you're new and if you like this video Don't forget to like comment and subscribe So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some perfumes that you should probably pull out for the fall Chances are you have a lot of these in your collection Especially if you are a perfume enthusiast you have a lot of these perfumes in your collection And I feel like they'll be perfect for the fall season that we are actually we are in fall season Let me let me retract that statement. We're not approaching we are in the fall season we're also in libra season just want to put that out there okay <laughs> but yes you should pull out these perfumes because they would be perfect against that crisp fall air i just feel like you'll get a lot of compliments on these as well because i know i sure do when i wear them so if you want to see some of my picks for this fall then just keep watching so the first perfume i'm going to start out with is none other than jessica simpson's fancy so as you can see, my juice is beginning to get dark. I have had this for about probably two years at this point and I definitely want to use it a little bit more. But this perfume right here, so this has definitely started to sweeten up and get like more of that candied caramel type of scent. I still can most certainly smell the florals in this which are gardenia and jasmine. But I feel like when I put this on my skin, it definitely dries down to that nice caramel because it does have like a caramel, almond, and amber note. And I am just not looking at the notes right now. So if I'm looking down, that's why. Some people really feel like this is like very floral. But honestly, I feel like I get most of that blast of floral when I first put it on and when I smell it straight out of the bottle. But even out of the bottle, I can still smell that like wonderful amber and that caramel note. Like it just smells like it's ooey gooey. And it's not necessarily a gourmand perfume either, but I really can smell that mixture of that sweet floral, which I really do appreciate. So this does also have berries in it as well, which I don't get much of. Like for me, this is mostly a floral caramel perfume, but during the fall, it just does something for me. Like it just really puts me in the fall mood. It gives me like a burnt orange like toffee type of fragrance when this is on my skin so if you have this in your collection and you have to knock the dust off of it go ahead and do that girl because i swear this just matches the fall leaves in my opinion so next up these were just all the rage earlier this year so this is fineries not another cherry which is my favorite from this brand at the current moment this right here really projects and for it to be an affordable fragrance that you can find in target chef's kiss like this is such an amazing perfume but like i always say i have not had the original tom ford lost cherry but the dupes that I have had have been really nice and this is definitely no different. This is like an intoxicating syrupy type of cherry. It does not give me cough syrup whatsoever. It just really gives me like a maraschino that has been sitting inside of some type of drink like an old fashioned or something like that. Even though I don't even like those drinks but they are strong and they get you where you need to go pretty fast. But it's just really giving me that vibe like it's very thick and just it just takes over it just really projects and every time i wear this i promise you you guys like if i go outside of the house somebody is telling me how good i smell like this just has like a nice scent trail and people smell my air when i walk by because you guys know how much i talk about i want you to smell my air when i go past you like it, i just want i want you to be like what what does she have on like she smells so good this has almond cherry amaretto and turkish rose and i'm starting to think that fragrances that have turkish rose in them i am kind of partial to and i'm not even a rose type of girl but it seems like as i get further in this like fragrance journey and as i get older as well certain scents that i did not like before i'm starting to really enjoy so if you haven't got your nose on this yet definitely do so um they should still have testers in target and now that the hype has died down you may be able to at least order it if it's not already still in your store and i have heard that the fragrance mists are really good as well um perfume fragrance mists are something i really enjoy because they are a little bit stronger than just like a regular fragrance mist so you, i feel like you probably could get by by just getting that as well but 
it's something about a cherry note in the fall that just gives me like pie baking vibes and i just feel like it's just like a fall staple so i'm definitely going to be pairing this with my sugar cherry crisp from bath and body works smelling like a whole cherry streusel out here like i, I can't wait next up is another fragrance from the finery collection and i have a little bit more of a dent in this one simply because i wear a lot more vanillas than i do cherry scents it doesn't necessarily mean that i like this one more than not another cherry but this is another one it's it's really good especially if you like vanilla fragrances so in particular i really enjoy a madagascar vanilla note because there's something about it that just gives me just a more sexy vibe than just regular vanilla because sometimes vanilla can be very youthful and light and airy so when you add some depth to a vanilla it instantly just becomes like a seductive type of scent and that's what i want like especially in the colder weather i really want something that is going to just smell like warmth like i am the warmth like when you walk past me or if you're somewhere hugged up with your boo or something like you just definitely want to smell seductive and inviting and i feel like that is what this gives me so I have heard that this is supposed to be a dupe for Eilish, but in my opinion, this is not the same. This is a more, like, a more toned down, sweeter type of vanilla. It's not spicy. It doesn't have that kick in there that Eilish does, but this right here still smells good. It can kind of give you like a vanilla bean, vanilla extract type of vibe. And that is why I really love this, especially to layer with other vanillas that I have in my collection. Just putting this on top just gives me that extra little kick that I need. So this next fragrance is new to my collection, thanks to a friend that sent it to me. And this is the Paris Hilton Ruby Rush Perfume. So this right here, when I instantly smelled it, it smelled like like fall in a bottle to me like off top it just smelled like something that I would be having on with a flannel like it smells so nice like it really just gives me a nice inviting like warm feeling it makes me want to go to the pumpkin patch makes me want to go on a hayride makes me want to go to the apple orchard and I did say that this smelled like apple to me but it does not have apple in it but it does have hibiscus and cherry and I feel like the those two together are giving me like that crisp apple type of vibe because it's almost like a floral fruity vibe and I think that's what's making me like feel like that but it just really gives me just like I said like I, I just want to get a pumpkin spice latte wearing this like honestly it just embodies the whole fall season and I'm not usually a person that you know always goes towards a fruity floral if you know me you know that I love a good gourmand foodie type of scent but there's something about this that just makes me want to go crunch some leaves with my Ugg boots on like honestly it just really just like this is fall like they took fall and they just put it in this bottle and that was just that like that's that's it it's, it's done so if you don't have this this is inexpensive and you can pick it up on fragrance net but i would highly suggest like if you like those type of scents a nice fruity floral that smells like fall like this is the one for you this next perfume i swear i can wear this in literally any season and it's like a chameleon and it changes with the different seasons and that is ysl mon Paris. This right here over the summer smelled so much more fruity on my skin than it did in the colder months. For some reason, my skin pulled out more of that fruit that is in here and it just smelled intoxicating and sexy and it still smelled deep it still had some depth to it but it wasn't like something that was too much for me i just i'm just obsessed with this perfume like i could really go for the largest bottle that they have and also because it has that patchouli in there and for my patchouli girls mm, 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 i don't know what it is about patchouli but it's like i'm instantly attracted to any fragrance with patchouli patchouli is like one of my top scent notes honestly I'm just obsessed. So this does also have orange blossom and white musk in it as well. I love fragrances that have orange blossom in them. I love fragrances that have musk in them, especially when they have patchouli. Like this one is that girl. It's going to make sure it stands up against that crisp weather and you are gonna get compliments and people are gonna turn their heads when you have this on. This is definitely a grown and sexy type of fragrance. 
So this next perfume, this is something that I picked up over the summer and I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. Like it was love at first sniff. And once I get finished with this little travel size, I'm definitely going to get the big version. But this is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Nectar. So I did love this when I smelled it in Sephora and I went ahead and picked up this little travel size because I'm like, you know, it smelled good in the store, but how is it going to perform when I bring it home? And I'm absolutely obsessed with this perfume. So this is like, this is another perfume that has patchouli in it. I can definitely smell the patchouli all throughout the perfume, but it's like a sweet patchouli. It's like more of a vanillic type of patchouli. I'm obsessed with it. It's just like one of those fragrances that will definitely get you compliments. It will cut through cold air. I feel like this is something that I can see myself with like a wool sweater or coat on. And I'm just smelling good. I'm coming in the house from uh, a little crisp day of shopping or I'm going to a coffee shop or something like that like this just smells so lovely so what I found really interesting about this perfume is that it has a gunpowder note which I was just kind of taken aback by that because I don't smell anything that smells like a firearm that has went off I just smell that wonderful sweet vanilla patchouli also it has tonka bean in it which really helps on the dry down to just make this nice and warm and cozy which is why i think that this is going to be a perfect perfume for the fall if you have a chance to get your nose on this and you like those type of scents with tonka bean vanilla orange blossom you know patchouli like this is definitely your girl like please go smell this because this is just amazing so just like the last perfume this is a flanker and also like the last perfume i didn't really care for the original flower bomb that much but the flanker to me is amazing i definitely want it in the full bottle this is another perfume that i really need to get some more usage out of because this is something that i feel like is full bottle worthy in my opinion as well and this is mark jacobs perfect in intense so i did not really care for the regular perfect because that one smelled a little bit too floral to me this one smells a little bit more gourmand and nutty the regular perfect has been compared to poppy a lot from math and body works which i personally don't get that whatsoever um especially with this perfect intense either i don't get that whatsoever because to me this is a almondy you know gourmand warm fragrance while poppy is more floral and fresh this has almond and sandalwood and sandalwood is one of my favorite scent notes as well and the almond in this to me is like a toasted sweet kind of sugary almond and i think that's what really gives me that like warm brown fall vibe so this one right here like if if perfect was too much for you like if it was too floral this definitely has the floral on the top, but it still gives like a nice warm dry down. It just smells so good to me. Like this one is like a warm and cozy fragrance. This is something that I feel like you can wear to like a daytime outing because it's not like so gourmand that it just like engulfs you, but it just has that nuttiness in there that just really brings you like a warmth and kind of like a fall holiday type of feel in my opinion. So this next perfume is actually discontinued unfortunately, but I have been savoring this and this was actually sent to me by a friend as well. This is Burberry and Intense. So I have not had the chance to try the Burberry Elixir, but I do have Burberry Her and I also have this Burberry Intense. So for right now, I feel like I'm good. But this is just like one of those perfumes that you hear often compared to Baccarat and Cloud and you know thank you next 2.0 and fragrances like in that type of family because it does have that like I cannot explain what it is but it's something that all these fragrances have in common it's a scent that i cannot describe but they all have it in common it's almost kind of like a little cologne type of feel but it's also something a little bit like bubbly or like a soda like i it's something that i cannot explain i also get this vibe from in the stars as well but burberry intense has blackberry it has benzoin it has jasmine 
it has red fruits which you know raspberry and i believe strawberry as well but this is just something that is so feminine and it's a little bit more projecting than the original burberry her in my opinion this is something that i would wear on a fall night out like if i was going out to a bar going out to a gathering a bonfire like something of that nature this perfume would really suffice for that and i just really cannot wait like i really want somebody to invite me to a bonfire because i'm just like where's the bonfires I'm, I'm prepared i want you to smell me while we're outdoors like I, I want you to smell me because i'm still gonna be smelling good even though we're by that fire but burberry her intense like i said is unfortunately discontinued but i'm sure if you break out burberry her if you break out burberry her elixir you'll still get that you know burberry her vibe and it's just like such a nice fall staple because it is deep and sexy and sweet and i really do feel like this would cut through that crisp fall air so i was going to leave this next perfume out because i'm actually going to be doing a perfume haul and this was a part of it but i just could not do this video in good faith without talking about this so this is fresh cream warm cashmere from philosophy and this is actually the eau de toilette so i did go through a full bottle of this last fall and winter so that just shows how much i love this fragrance so this does have vanilla it has cashmere it has coconut it also has like some orange notes at the top like some citrus at the top as well which kind of you know kind of confused me when i first got this perfume or eau de toilette when i first picked this up i was like what is that citrus note this is not what the girls have been talking about but once it dried down i kept getting a whiff of something i kept getting a waft of something and i'm like what is that intoxicatingly caramel vanilla sweet scent and it was absolutely this i forgot that i had sprayed this on myself this lasts for so long even though it is an edt this is definitely for you gourmand lovers out there that share the same love for a nice sweet gourmand fragrance like myself this is something that i feel like you can top with so many different things like you can have so many sweet layering combinations and you'll just smell so edible and delicious like caramelized vanilla treats like it just embodies fall and i do feel like this will be really good as well like with an apple fragrance even though i'm not an apple lover but if you want to smell like like a caramel apple if you have like an apple fragrance that you like to put on like champagne apple and honey from bath and body works or eating juicy apple and you pair these two together you're gonna be smelling like that that uh caramel apple sucker even though that's you know that's a green apple but at the same time it's still apple <laughs> but i just really feel like that combination will just be top tier so i think i'm gonna try that for myself as well but fresh cream warm cashmere is a must in the fall season it is just so sweet luxe delicious and you will most certainly get compliments on this so this next fragrance i don't even know how much i have left in here it doesn't sound like a lot but this is victoria's secret teas candy noir and this is a flanker of teas so i feel like victoria's secret has really been like on top of their game when it comes to these teas flankers i literally don't even know what the original teas smells like to be honest with you because i've only been introduced to the flankers so this is one that i absolutely love to wear like I, I i love this this is like in that fragrance family of into the night in mon paris it doesn't necessarily say that this has a patchouli note but it kind of gives me like a patchouli vibe but this is definitely a sweet sexy dark raspberry perfume like if you were to take some raspberries that were just extremely ripe and crush them up and put them in like Victoria's Secret perfume because we all know Victoria's Secret has like this certain scent DNA it's almost like KFC's hidden recipe you don't really know what it is but you can taste or smell like the DNA in there like you can really smell what it is so it smells like Victoria's Secret but with like a sexy deep raspberry twist this is my number one scent for Victoria's Secret I'm just gonna go ahead and call it this is my number one scent for Victoria's Secret compliment getter like compliment getter i had someone literally smell me and ask me what i was wearing so that they can buy it for their girlfriend when i had this on like this is a perfume like this and into the night are something that i have to tell myself to put down and stop wearing and wear something else because i will wear these into the ground 
this is also to me like a year round fragrance but there's something about this in the fall like when i'm just going out that i always gravitate towards this is that girl she lasts all night she smells sexy she smells sweet she smells playful she smells sinful like this is just yeah whenever victoria's secret has a sale on the teas perfumes or any of their perfumes please go try this out because this is just like a dark sexy sweet womanly girly perfume so speaking of sweet and girly of course i had to bring out my pink sugar berry blast this is something that i love to wear in the fall because it does have that blueberry note in there it also has caramel in vanilla tonka bean cotton candy it has many of the same aspects that the original pink sugar has and to me this does like really smell like pink sugar just with a like little berry twist it's not a huge difference from pink sugar in my opinion but this does have enough of a difference that i wanted to include it in this video because there's something about the blueberries and the cherries and like the deeper fruits that just really put me in the mindset of fall and this is definitely one that i love to pair with like blueberry sugar pancakes from bath and body works and you know anything that i want to add a nice little blueberry note to because it's not often that i wear something that has blueberry in it so when i do it's like a nice surprise plus as you can see the juice has started to get a little darker and once that juice starts getting dark these fragrances just it, it's their time to shine it starts getting really sugary sweet syrupy thick and this is just going to be so fun to wear this fall it just makes me think of like you know pancakes and blueberry compote and things like things like that especially here in indiana like you know i live in farmland so they're harvesting everything and everything is just tasting good and fresh smelling good like there's just lots of nice food options right about now <laughs> so that's what this makes me think of so even if you were the regular pink sugar these to me also are year round because this is something that i would also wear to like a brunch in the springtime so very versatile type of fragrance but in the fall i feel like you can really make this way more gourmand you can play up on that blueberry note and you can just go around smelling like an all together snack and the last fragrance that i feel like will be a perfect perfume for the fall of course i had to bring out my billy eilish eilish because the fall for some reason is just like a very spicy time you know there's lots of spices going on even though i'm not really a huge spice girl i do like a you know little kick i don't like something too much and for me this is definitely it i feel like this pairs with so many other fragrances like i would pair this with like a you know cinnamon pumpkin type of fragrance combo you know marshmallow pumpkin latte just to add like a little spice to it add a little sweet and vanilla to it like this has tonka bean it has that amber and i feel like the amber really makes this smell like a sweet crystallized type of fragrance just very sexy just you know it's kind of pungent up upon first spray that really has stopped a lot of people from picking this up but for me this was a love at first sniff like even though the opening may have been strange to a lot of people to me i just really enjoyed it i just immediately was like yes let me go ahead and purchase the travel size i used the travel size up now i have the full size like this is just something like a fall staple this is just very sexy it has a little kick to it that vanilla is like a sexy vanilla extract like kind of like the vanilla extract that's in like kaoli vanilla 28 like this is just really that girl so it does also have some fruits in there but to be honest with you i don't smell the fruits there's nothing fruity about this in my opinion to me like i, I just only smell that sexy vanilla in there i smell that cacao the spicy notes like because it's a little bit chocolatey like it's just it's, it's just a complex vanilla fragrance and i really feel like for the fall this is what you need to be topping off a lot of your combos with like if you don't get anything else 
to top the combos off with this because tis the season for the spicy notes so those are some of my top fragrance picks for this fall let me know are you guys going to be bringing any of these out or let me know in the comments what you actually are going to be bringing out what are some fall staples for you as far as perfume goes give us some ideas girl because there may be something i need to go ahead and try in the fall because you know sometimes perfumes wear different in different seasons so definitely let me know in the comments and let's have a conversation so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you look in the description because i will have a link to most of these fragrances so that you can go shop them if you do not have them in your collection if you like this video make sure you guys subscribe i love you so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys